Danzig, the Pearl of the Baltic, has been a major traffic junction for centuries. The landmark of Danzig, the Crane Gate, is symbolically the ideal connection of land and sea transport. The Amber Road, along which the precious gemstone has been brought to the Mediterranean region since ancient times, has its modern equivalent in the Baltic Adriatic Rail Corridor. On the way from Danzig to Warsaw, this is not only the start of Corridor 6, which leads to Vienna and is planned to carry on to Bologna, it is also where the United Europe has its new routes. In Poland, huge efforts are being made to advance priority projects 23 and 25 of the transnational rail networks. From Warsaw, the new links lead to the three Baltic states and to Poland's most important railway junction, Katowice. Here it divides into two branches, one through Brno in the Czech Republic and via Bratislava in Slovakia, before meeting up again in Vienna. The new main station which is planned for Vienna will make the Austrian capital one of the most important junctions of trans-European rail traffic. Vienna will become the starting point for the new route which will complete the Baltic Adriatic Rail Corridor. Through the Semmering Base Tunnel, which will be the modern answer to the engineering skills of Ritter von Geiger, the route leads first via Graz and the Koram Tunnel to Klagenfurt, and then continues via the Ponte Bana to Bologna in northern Italy. Let's quickly travel back to the past so that we can recognize the opportunities of the future better. Close to the thermal springs of Filach lies the Roman road, an ancient track cut deep into the rock which connected Rome with the Eastern Alps. This diagonal passage has been one of the most important long distance routes since the Middle Ages. When the railways came to the fore at the beginning of the 19th century, they brought about a massive advance in technological innovation which spread like wildfire. On the iron road, a cold black creature approached. It grew bigger and bigger and expelled powerful steam from its jaws and there was a, such a roar that one's mind stood still. This is how Peter Rosegger described his first encounter with a steam locomotive around 1900. Today we need to reinterpret the roar that made one's mind stand still. High performance routes are the appropriate response for the 21st century. The Austrian railways are geared up for Euro 2008. No national or international football match could take place without special trains. Let the train take the strain was the former slogan of the Austrian railways and it is still valid today. Nothing can be more relaxing than to arrive comfortably by train to enjoy a holiday in Carinthia to the full. The Baltic Adriatic transport axis, surrounded by unique sightseeing attractions, will be the unique magnet attracting holidaymakers to Austria and the Upper Adriatic. Load up the wagons, they're heading south. The freight train is the ideal complement to transport by ship. A new version of the old slogan would have to be along the lines of let the train reduce your carbon footprint, which is particularly true of goods transport. There is no better way to reduce greenhouse gas emissions than to move freight from road to rail. This is why politicians from all the regions are arguing passionately in favour of expansion of the Danzig-Bologna axis. Because I believe that with this Baltic Adriatic corridor we have a huge opportunity to develop our economic regions. This is a major project for Friuli Giulia Venezia too. In particular, the route via Klagenfurt and Vienna is an ideal link for goods and passengers. That will be of the greatest importance for Styria as a business location, providing employment and boosting the economy. Many generations after ours will profit considerably from this rail route. 
Goods arriving by sea can then in future be increasingly transported by rail. The Baltic Adriatic Development Corridor is not just significant for Friulia, Giulia, Venezia, but of great importance for the whole of Italy, because it will allow all the ports on the Adriatic to develop economically within Europe. To exploit the favourable position in Central Europe, we need to do what the Venetians did before us develop harbours, roads and infrastructure in this most favourably positioned region of Europe. In addition to the economic advantages, it's important that we understand this rail access as an axis for the protection of the climate and the environment. Therefore, it's now important for us to lobby successfully at European Union level to achieve inclusion among the priority projects because this project is without doubt the most fascinating as it connects Eastern Europe with the central region of the European economy and therefore should have absolute priority. With intercity trains, it will be possible to travel to Graz from Klagenfurt in an hour once the Koran railway has been completed in 2016. The financing for the route has been contractually secured since 2004 between the Austrian government, the provincial government and the Austrian railways. The signals are therefore at green for the construction of the 32.8 km Koran tunnel, which, on completion, will be the longest tunnel in Austria. The exploratory tunnels already have a length of altogether 10 km, and thanks to the favourable geology can be used as the main tunnel. The entire financing volume for the Koran Railway amounts to 4.2 billion euros. The provinces of Corinthia and Styria will each contribute 140 million euros. The key section of the Baltic-Adriatic axis will, however, not only create an optimal link to international economic centres, it will also improve accessibility to the regions. Every day, more than 2,500 railway wagons pass through the Filach South marshalling yard. On the Baltic-Adriatic axis, freight traffic will be at least as important as passenger traffic. With cargoes amounting to over 5.1 million tonnes per year, the goods terminal in Furnitz handles more than half of Corinthia's rail cargo traffic. Any investment in the railway must be for the long term, because goods trains will still be running when oil supplies are running dry. Since the Filak South marshalling yard started to operate, it has sent an amazing 10 million goods wagons on their journey throughout Europe. The lines are becoming more closely connected. The Koralm Railway as the key project in the Baltic-Adriatic axis will link up the countries along Europe's diagonal passage as the reinterpretation of an ancient trade route. The most environmentally friendly means of transport, the railway, will connect the ports of the Baltic with the Adriatic and provide new lines into Europe's future for our children.